Hey guys, my name is Taylor Larkin, and I'm going to be reading a story to you today from the Gospel Story Bible. This is the story of the Ascension from Luke 24, verses 50 through 53, and Acts 1, verses 1 through 11. During the 40 days after he rose from the dead, Jesus appeared many times to the disciples. He taught them about the kingdom of God and explained how the Old Testament pointed to his death and resurrection. Now it was time for them to share this good news of salvation with the world. So Jesus commanded his disciples, who had seen it all with their own eyes, to preach the gospel to everyone. But Jesus didn't send the disciples out right away. He told them to wait for the promised Holy Spirit to come, and they would receive power from heaven. Jesus said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Then Jesus led them on a walk to Bethany, the little village near the Mount of Olives. The disciples asked, Lord, is this the time when you are going to make Israel its own kingdom again? Jesus told them they were not allowed to know the days his father set for such things. And then he said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Then Jesus raised his hands and blessed his disciples. As he did, he began to lift from the ground. The disciples watched as Jesus rose up to heaven. Finally, far up in the sky, a cloud hid him from their sight. While they were still watching, two men in white robes appeared. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing there looking up into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will someday come back in the same way you saw him go. Then the disciples worshipped Jesus and returned to Jerusalem full of joy. They spent much of their time in the temple, praising and thanking God for all they had seen. Did you notice something different about the disciples in this story? Not one of them doubted. At first, after Jesus' resurrection, the disciples doubted and didn't believe Jesus rose from the dead. But over time, they all came to believe. Finally, after watching Jesus return to heaven, they worshipped him and were filled with joy. We might have expected them to be sad about losing Jesus, but they weren't. Jesus had promised to prepare a place for them in heaven and come back to take them there. The two men in white robes also reminded the disciples that Jesus would come back someday. Today we are still waiting for the glorious day when Jesus will return. One day he will come back on the clouds to the sound of a loud trumpet. Christians who are alive on that day will be gathered up to meet him in the sky. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. Hope you enjoyed it.